Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel of mprugs.com. My name is Mike Pana. I'm the moderator in the series of videos that is all about Persian rugs. And in this video, I'm going to show you several examples of how we hang Persian rugs on the walls, what we use, um, and also what to do when you want to, if you decide, for example, you want to actually frame a Persian rug. So in this video, I'm going to show you a little bit about how we do it. So as I always do, I'm going to get behind the camera and then I will show you step by step using four examples, how we hang up Persian rugs on the walls. So here I'm back again. And as I always do get behind the camera and in this particular uh, video, I'm going to, I laid out four different rugs and it's all about how to hang rugs on walls. We have two silk. In this case, we have Turkish Herike rugs that we had, um, we had a uh, client bring them in, uh, wanted to get their, our opinion on them. And you can see how these, uh, in this case, they had a band that was sewn into the back and then the rod would have been able to be placed through the end of it. This is one way. It's quite common. This is not something I actually recommend. Um, here's another common method on how to hang rugs. Simply, the, they took several rings and they sewn them in. Now, the problem with doing it like this, as you can see here, is both in the case of the rings or whether you add this elaborate concoction which was no doubt done by a so-called professional this is not what most persian rug retailers typically do in their own homes this is what they want you to do because this is where money is to be made not only in the process of doing this, but also in the process of repairing the damage. Because this right here, I'm going to give you an example. This is a very fine old Herike rug. This is a very fine rug. But this right here is going to leave marks that are going to have to be repaired when the when the ring if this were to be removed and the problem with adding these types of devices whether it's rings whether it's straps velcro you name it is that well it basically makes the rugs not usable for placing on counters on floors even though the chances of somebody actually walking on one of these silk rugs is slim to none, it does not mean that you should do something that will prevent you from placing it, whether it is on the floor or counter. So my personal opinion, and I want to, I cannot say this often enough, so you will never hear me state that I'm an expert or that I am the go-to person. I'm 52 years old at the time of this video. I learned how to walk on Persian rugs. And this is something I have never seen in the homes of Persian rug store owners' families. Uh, so when you go to the homes of the Persian rug dealers, this is not something that is typically done. What do they do? Well, I'll show you. We have ourselves a very... Uh, typical Tabriz rug that was also you can see that is framed I'm just going to move out of it a little bit so you get full view of the frame this uh, Tabriz rug is roughly I think it's two and a half by three feet and you can see they picked a beautiful frame to go along with it then in the back we have what has got to be my own personal special pictorial piece and just so you know i'm the one who designed it this is my design i'm not the one who made it 
but I'm the one who designed it. So, yes, and I can tell you all about it. I'm gonna, I normally do not like to market my own type rugs, but in this particular case, we have an actual world map rug that I designed. And yes, there's lots of bragging that's gonna go on with it. There's also going to be a quick reason of why I do not recommend ever um, having custom rugs made. But I'm going to talk about that later. We're going to be talking about how to hang rugs on walls. I've shown you two examples with a hurricane. Now we're going to talk about, and this is the same, um, if you're going to have a rug that is going to be framed, this is typically done to wool rugs. Pure silk, if you are going to frame it, it's not going to look very nice based on the experiences that we have had. On the Tabriz rugs, the Isfahan rugs, for example, and these are the two most common rugs that are wool and framed, um, very common um, and you can see on the Tabriz rug here we have, for example, this is a 55 rug Tabriz. Some people sell them as 60 rug silk foundation. There is, like in the case in most pictorial Tabriz rugs, there is some silk, but not a whole lot. But the detailing is just absolutely beautiful. Now, the reason why, in case you're wondering, I do not put a lot of these in my website at mprux.com is simply because I think it's almost too nice not to ship with the frame. But since we are an online store, shipping rugs with the frames is a real pain in the butt. And so I would rather not sell you something that might arrive damaged then take my chances, try to make a few bucks, and leave a client with a bad taste in their mouth. That is one of the reasons why, yes, we do have pictorial pieces, but this is not something that um, I personally try to offer. But let me swing the camera around here. I want to show you the back of it, because this is where the magic happens. Here we have, this is the back of the rook. Um, I showed you earlier, we have rings, we have straps that they put on the back. Well, how do Persian people hang up most of their rugs? Well, simple. We use small nails. And you notice here, in a rug like this, they put a nail every about mm, 5 to 10 centimeters. They just put them in. And... Imagine if this was on a wall. Imagine if you had, like I did, this rug was for about 10 years hanging in my home office in Colorado. It was on the wall. And all I did was place a nail in the wall every about foot, foot and a half. So every 50 centimeters, one nail all the way around by putting nails along the bottom and the sides along with the top it keeps the rug in place and it will not be pulled down um, the Tabriz rug right here the world map this is a two meter by three meter rug this rug weighs about 20 kilos about 45 pounds but yes, by placing a few nails along the top, the sides, and the bottom, this rug stayed in place for over 10 years. There were no damage, no problems, and all we did was, in fact, if you swing this thing over, you can see right here, this are, these are my nail marks. Right here, right here, you can see them. About every foot apart, I put nails in, and when you look on the front, there is no damage, nothing. It just went right through. The key is, you use small nails. You don't need to use thick nails. 
uh, don't get the thick. Use the smallest, thinnest nail that you can hold between your fingers and simply start in the corner. Then you add another one and then another one. Another option you can do is you can get clamps like we use in the warehouses. You can see all of our rugs that are hanging on walls, they're hanging on clamps. And as you can see, I'm just going to zoom out on the pictorial piece because again, I am most definitely bragging about my world map. We have one, two, three, four. Four clamps will keep this rug for years and these are special clamps you can typically get them in stores that sell um, um, good lord window coverings drapes curtains they typically sell them but again it's not a necessity when it comes to persian rugs so if you were to ask a persian rug dealer and this is my personal opinion you can go with option a you can get right here you can get the rings hooks whatever you can get velcro or you can do the straps that's option b but if you would ask me how to hang them up i would simply say to get some small nails and just start working away now these pieces that are framed because they want to keep the rug firmly up against the frame. And I'm just going to turn this thing around again so that you can see it. There you go. They have to use a lot of nails. Otherwise, um, it would just look flimsy. Um, and so if you are going um do apologize um uh, video got cut off here i was saying if you are going to have it framed you are going to have to use more nails but if you're just going to hang it on the wall nails will do you just fine so i hope this video is of help to you as far as in case you're wondering how to hang up rugs and um, again feel free to email us if you have questions subscribe to us on our youtube channel and uh, don't forget i'm the guy behind the world map rug which i can tell you all about it in fact i may just do a special video on it so best wishes to you all and um, don't forget to subscribe to our channel or leave us uh, questions in the comments section. And I wish you guys all the very best. Take care. Bye-bye.